Next level is kind of uh, adventure through the visual search, through biological vision, and through uh, this kind of complexity level. And if you translate it like complexity, it makes no sense. I mean, so we are going to present this more in order to understand what is complexity, why complexity analysis <coughs> in topics like visual search, unbounded search, and we will use an example that one we will explain to you, that's called knapsack problem, uh, in order to understand why it's impossible uh, to set up the biological vision as a computational. And we will also explain, sorry, explain the new algorithm, the paradise also, in order to find a specific target in a scene or in a image. So, John Sotsos is a distribution research professor in the York University. And even if the journal is for, or from the area behind behavioral and brain science sciences, we can see that it's not a mean cognitive scientist, it's a computer scientist. And so, in order to understand what is complexity, I will make like an example. I mean, in biological vision, there are kind of a lot of operations that the brain may you know, to understand what's the target, in the in the scene. So instead the brain can do it very well. This is kind of a contradiction, no? Because if if the brain can do it, why we can do a computer that can do it as well? But uh, we saw in our in the, your last presentation like the set one on biological vision that this model is not yet very ready. We need a, a very big computer, a, a huge computer that is not possible to build with our technology. So the complexity level analysis may solve this contradiction because complexity analysis try to understand what is what is the requirement to solve a certain problem and the number of elements like processor, connection, memory and so on that we need for this computation. So complexity try to match all the possible solution in order to understand uh, what what's the problem, what we need to solve the problem, and so 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 try to do this this comparison between biological vision and computational vision that Adam will will explain better. Yeah, and biological vision we have theories about how the vision work have some um, understanding for the perception and computer engineers try to imitate this, these theories and this understanding and try to apply in computational vision. But the problem is um, when we start to apply these theories we face a problem that some of these theories are inapplicable by the computer. Why is that? Because of the complexity Theory. The complexity theory is some term computation. It's not just about vision or cognitive sciences. It's about any computational problem. We need we have an algorithm, and then the complexity analysis or complexity theory studies whether this algorithm is computable or by the computer. As you can see later, there are some problems in computation that are never going to be solved. I mean, with, with the current even if we build a supercomputer as big as the universe and has as many processors as the protons in the universe, it still will not be able to solve this problem, which is in principle mathematically solvable, but it will take two billion years to solve with that super universal computer. So some theories have a kind of mathematical problem that is similar to this uh, problem which brings us to say that um, then comes the we, we try to say that the complexity theory or complexity analysis is like a police we say no, this theory 
is not applicable, is not acceptable, because um, it has that kind of problem that we cannot accept. Because it's, it's not just we study computation, but also uh, the processing power of the brain cannot exceed that supercomputer we, we spoke about. So the, the, the brain itself is a biological computer, and it has its limitation, which makes us refuse some um, some theories. On the other hand, that made us start from the computational side and try to find um, another approach to understand and to make the same function that biological vision does, but starting from the computational aspect with regard and respect to the complexity. So we start and see, okay, what what is possible by the computer to achieve, and we study its complexity and if it's solvable by the computer or not, and then we can try to to use this as an understanding for what's already happening on vision. To make it simple to understand, uh, let's also use uh, an example. Uh, it's like when an engineer start to study a new house, maybe from the future, like the brain is for us, because we don't know even how does it work. So why study from the beginning, like from the neurons? Just study the structure, and then with the study of the structure, we can build uh, a pre-order complexity level analysis. I mean, just on simple stuff, starting with simple stuff, and then going even deeper, using, I mean, to analyze this kind of processing, uh, using the complexity level. That is this kind of uh, procedure that you can use for everything in, in, in the world. I mean, it's simple. You have some element, you have some kind of problem, and you have some, some kind of resources. If you try to put all this together in an equation, you will have all the possible solutions you can have. So, all the, like the navigator, in our, like the navigator that you use to go to go, it can be possible to function with this uh, combinatory and complexity analy uh, analy analysis level search because and this is maybe an example that clarify I hope. possibilities, which this is the number of 
processes, the number of, of 